Oh, hundred K uh track. He uh confronted Trap Lord Ross. I'm trying to see what's to that. I never seen him really get aggressive for real. He usually be professional, so I wonder did he really confront him or did they just have a convo? Now that's an hour twenty six. Minutes, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Damn, Tempest. What color is what what color is that? Because I see the Louis V millionaire frames, but you see all different kinds of colors. You see the clear this ones. One, this one is like a smoke gray. Smoke gray. Some like Louis right, V it's, millionaire frames. It's damn near. It's thick. It could pass for black, but it's not. It's like dark gray, smoke gray. It's hard. See, I've been looking at these glasses, and I've been trying smoke to find gray. out if I can get my lenses put in because my eyesight, I can't see shit. I'm, I'm basically oh. blind. So right. I'd got to put in the contacts if I want to wear a nice set of frames like that, you know. You could do that though. That's the, for sure. You could do that. You could change the lens into um into the the ones with the medicated. For sure. See, be the thing is, I just feel like Louis Vuitton. They're going to charge me glass. the bag to put in my my special <laughs> frames. I can I, I might be able to afford the frames, but then the lenses might right. be a whole other story. No nah, facts. Can they hear me now? The chat. They yeah, they got you. They 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 throwing the W's in the chat. They're saying they got you. Um and yeah, man. So we're hey, here. Shout out Trap Lord Ross, though. I'm okay. really glad to be here with you. Really appreciate you checking in. And uh, I'm excited to talk to you, man. You know, I feel like we got a lot to talk about. Um, you know, I'm a fan of you and what you've achieved. And uh, you know, what I'm saying I feel like hopefully we're gonna have a really good conversation. Maybe uh, you know, I'm down to answer some hard questions. Maybe you are too. But at the same time. Um, you know, I'm going to keep it respectful and I'm, I'm just super excited to chop it up with you, man. Cause realistically, I think we got two people here that love hip hop and, uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just Come on, get to I'm the, like, get I watched to it. it. I'm like, mm. I even DM you. I said, interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you took, first thing I noticed was like, yo, this took a lot of time. This took a crazy amount of time, boy. I don't know how long you dedicated to do that, but that was something that took a lot of information, a lot of effort. So, you know. But I didn't. I didn't put no. I didn't really want to voice my opinion on it because I learned sometimes when stuff is too early and you voice your opinion, people take it the wrong way. So I just I let everybody else voice their opinion on it, and I just. And you say trap keeping it. Uh, trap keeping it cool because he know trap law gets to the bottom of stuff and will expose buddy for who he really <laughs> is. Who 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 is he? Who is he really? Because I be hearing a lot of people be having something to say about him, but I really don't know nothing bad about. Him. I be hearing people say like he ain't writing this and that, but I ain't seen nothing bad that I could remember. I wasn't trying to disrespect Vaughn or his people, well, just, but just, like mm -hmm. I was really just, just trying to paint a picture base. of like the life this guy was living, yeah. and you know a lot yeah. of the things that he said and, and he spoke on, whether it's in his music or on his Twitter and stuff while he was alive, and yeah. um, you know s s a lot of people had opinions on that. You you spoke about it recently on the off the record podcast with academics, and yeah. I guess like before we get into like a sort of deep debate about you know Vaughn and what he was like like you know I'd love to maybe for you to just kind of recap on like what your relationship was like with Vaughn and like mm -hmm. you, you spent a lot of time with Vaughn uh, really like the height mm -hmm. of his career when he was the man that everybody wanted to to mess with in hip-hop so maybe you could just right. give me a little rundown of like situations in Atlanta the business I need to know whatever you want to say about Vaughn or the stuff that he did in the past he got mm -hmm. to a point in life where he became, you know, a millionaire, a celebrity, and you yeah. kind of watched that transformation. So I'd love yeah. to know what it was like for you to witness that happening and, like, what was it like being around him in that time? Now, we want to know. Check See somebody comments. go for people's toe. The comments um, of this video? Yeah, that was a, that's, that's a very... Maybe they... That's a very... Yeah, that's something I do. Say, no, he wasn't guilty of murder, so he's capping. Well, I can't say that. <laughs> No, I think that's going to be Oh, whoa, whoa. Guilty. So, no, me personally, what they think he is or was, but in reality, based on an answer that's in reality. But do, mm -hmm. do you believe that Vaughn killed anyone, or do you believe that some of the stories about him are true, or do you believe it's all false? Just so we, we can kind of get as a starting point, like, what your position is on right. the stuff you got up I to. I mean, the thing is, right, when you says, when you said, do you believe? I mean, shit, I believe in a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? And um, some for good, some for bad. And that's just not with just Javon. It's with other individuals as well. But when you ask me, yeah. do I feel like he killed somebody? I could only go based on an answer that's in reality. 
no, because he hasn't been convicted for anything. And, you know, yeah, I know you've seen my episode with academics, um, and, you know, that was one of my strong points is, like, I, I, I'm okay with everybody being expressive, and I'm okay with, you know, with fans and supporters and, and anybody ha- having their own, you know what I'm saying, thought of what they thought or what they think he is or was. But in reality, Bond has never been convicted of no murder, no charges. So, no, he hasn't killed anybody. So I only could go based on what present. You know what I'm saying? I can't he's only, he's the, going my imagination on to be like, yeah, I think he killed somebody. Yeah. That's a politically <laughs> correct answer. <laughs> yeah, I think he got 10 bodies. Yeah, I think he don't. Because in reality, he went to court, went to trial for these things, and he was found not guilty. So, no, me personally, I don't believe Vaughn had killed anybody because he never got caught. You say he never got caught. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. He he right, there. right there. Right there. Never got caught. But I feel like at the same time, it's it's sort of really, it's been really interesting for me to kind of see so many people come out and sort of s- kind of say like, it's all cap, really. It's, it's, it's essentially uh-huh. in a way, you're, you're kind of saying that all the stuff that Von was talking about when he was here in his songs was mm-hmm. cap. I personally, I'm not saying it was cap, right? Because... <laughs> I don't know. Um, He's smart. I can't tell you. I wasn't with him. Like, you know, if we talk about the timeline of me knowing Vaughn, unfortunately, it wasn't the timeline where he's in O-Block looking for an op now and drilling and things like that, and he's trying to get revenge for his fallen comrades and his friends and his family. Now, does all of those scenarios affect a decision where he might potentially his real name track himself now? or had to go do things that most of us human beings wouldn't do, which is take a life, maybe. Could be, yeah. So I'm not saying anything, Cap. He does he have, maybe he has seven bodies. If he the hip-hop Man, police, yeah. that's crazy. Hip-hop police. Because he deep that's in the that shit. hip-hop police. With a real business next to them niggas. Melly. Vaughn. Top. I don't know if he had a relationship with Dirk. But probably so if he had a relationship with Vaughn, I don't know. Prince Dre, he got a lot. He, he, he was just said he literally just said that he didn't know Vaughn when he was drilling. He knew Vaughn when he was rapping, like, you know? Yeah. He admitted uh-huh. to like being in that he, he just in that rap scene, period. You say I know track. Personally, he definitely hip hop police. If you're gonna say something like that, gang. Come to the Discord. It's open on phone number. <laughs> no, you hey, drop the link in the <laughs> chat. We <laughs> need the. Nah, we need he, you. He, he capping, bro. He capping. That's the on same thing that said you messy. On <laughs> phone now. We need you, folk. With your face. And proof. <laughs> yeah, you gotta put your face on it. You gonna say something like that? <laughs> 